Hey, we are back in the back in the wood shop, y'all. Um, uh, and why? Because fishing ain't been going too hot. But the idea today was started off on a retirement project or a gift that we just made not too long ago. So it's gonna be a stand for a football helmet. Yeah. Uh, making one for me and one for my nephew. Y'all better look out for him. Uh, my nephew Junior is coming up doing a lot of good things. Uh, you're gonna see him on TV one day. So enough of that y'all, let's get to it. Now I start every fresh board that I cut with what I call the sacrificial cut. Just trims off the slightest bit on the edge to make sure it's square as compared to the fence and the blade of the saw. Then I make my two cuts on the same board. It's a one by eight. I cut two 14 inch boards. Those will be married together at the long edge using pocket holes. But first it did get dark, mosquitoes came out, so I lit up some mosquito repellent. Now on the pocket holes using the Craig jig, and since the two boards are going to be on the long edge, I have two screws coming in from one side on one of the boards, and on the opposite board I have it coming one in the middle, coming from the opposite direction. Glue it up, I don't put my clamps too tight so the boards don't bow, and then I drop in the pocket screws. Now one thing with the pocket screws is you drill them at a high speed, but then put the screws in at a lower speed so you don't destroy your wood. The plywood that I'm cutting here, that's like the top of the pedestal where the helmet's gonna rest. I cut out a rectangle, then I measure out some straight lines and hit it with a jigsaw to make this octagon shape. Give everything a rough sand want to say that was 80 grit initially and then 220 to make sure it was uh, like a fine sand towards the end. I pre-drill all the slots where everything's going to mount with wood screws then I countersink so that I can go back and fill everything in with wood filler to make it nice and flat. Then I take a round over bit on the router hit the top edge of the board where everything's going to be showing just gives it a nice finished look then I go through where I traced those coins that I'm putting in here and I use the router to progressively go deeper until it matches the depth where the coins will sit. Everything will be nice and flush on top. Took a lot of patience here to make sure that I'm going at the correct depth without going too deep. Then the coins sit too low and it's not quite as flush. Yeah, look at that. One more quick sand and then I push everything together using some wood glue and wood screws. And again, those were countersunk so that I filled everything with the wood filler later. Looks all good. Nice. <laughs> Alright y'all, so this uh, this build is taking a few more afternoons after work than I initially thought. But it's coming together slowly but surely, you know. Uh, all we gotta do now is, is stain it. I got a couple little details to, to throw in the mix and then the polyurethane. So, I mean, I guess it ain't gonna get itself done. <laughs> Let's get back to it, y'all. Now with the red mahogany minwax stain, I mean, the technique, there's millions of videos out there. You've seen one staining video. You've seen them all. So, you know, here's just where I started. And then this is what the final product ends up looking like.
All right, y'all, so final stages here. Uh, <laughs> we actually just got back from wrapping up a fishing video for one of the other playlists on this channel. And uh, good time. But let's finish this thing off, okay? Two last details, you know, after it's all stained and everything, I have my two routed out inlays for where these coins are gonna go. Uh, these coins go with the helmet that's going on here because they came from the same course uh, that I was teaching down in Texas. And uh, if you know anything about the history or the heritage of military challenge coins or coins in general, uh, they, they resemble something special. They always come with a story. So we're going to inlay those and then apply our polyurethane clear coat and we're done. So let's get to it. To set the coins and those inlays, I just chose to go with a regular super glue. It was easy, not as complicated as epoxy or anything, and it gets the job done. It holds it in there fairly well. Plus, the polyurethane clear coat on top is going to give it that little bit of extra assurance that it ain't going nowhere. And the final touches of the clear coat. Mm. Yeah. So that's it. Um, now we just let this thing dry and come back for the final product. I'm gonna go get all this stuff unloaded off the truck. See you in a little bit. Yes, y'all, it is done. Check me out. So here is the final product. You can see the polyurethane is dried up. Everything is set in place and the helmet Good. So that brings another quick random project to a close. Uh, these things, I mean, they're fun, they kill time, and they're functional. So I appreciate y'all checking this one out. If you want to see more woodworking videos, click this right here. And uh, obviously don't forget to subscribe right here and somewhere down there. Click on that little thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what y'all think, all right? Thanks for tuning in, peace.